Tanya here from the Bucky Pottery Company. I'm just going to do show you a pinch project just now and we're going to make a Highland cow. Now those of you who've been to our um, our workshops when we when we were allowed to run face to face workshops you will recognize this. Now I'm using ES130 uh, fired clay it's an earthenware clay but you can equally do this with air dry clay. I've done this successfully you know you can't glaze it obviously and fire it but you can paint it with acrylic paints and seal it with either varnish or PVA works really well as well just like you know the white school glue stuff anyway I'm going to move my camera down now so you can just see my hands and we will make a highland cow hello I'm just going to take I've got a blob of clay and I'm just going to take two blobs doesn't have to be exactly the same size doesn't have to be perfect so here we go i'm just rolling these in my hands to make a wee circle a wee ball of clay sorry not a circle okay that's it that's all you need to do any big cracks in it just cover them over um but basically you're good to go okay and as seen in our pinch pop video we just put our thumb in like that and we go around the outside now for purposes of making a cow we don't want you to go too thin so I'm just gonna keep going around find out where the thick bits are because you just feel them and just gently squeeze so something like that is perfect okay so I'm just gonna quickly make another one okay this is in real time so this is how long it's going to take you okay right there you go another one okay now we're joining these together and then when you're joining clay what you need to have is slip and you need to roughen your clay so this is what you do so you just go around your edge of your clay and just roughen it and right round the outside like that doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be all the same, just and on and you do this on both your bits of clay, both your thumb pots. Okay. Right, okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I've got some slip here. And I make slip by just using some of the clay, the same clay as this, um, and I dry it out a bit and I mash it up and add it add water to it and mix it up um and i add a bit of white vinegar to mine but it's not necessary and there's our clay and there's our clay thumb pots all sorted and now i'm going to join them together i'll take a little bit of time to join them together so you get them about about right now what we don't want to do is squeeze all the air out so gently gently does it and what i'm doing is i'm just pulling the clay from top to bottom like this and basically what we're looking for is a really good join so if you can't see the line where they're joined you you're about right and I'm just going right the way around the outside and joining these two together now the Highland cows I make are not for the purest Highland cow purchaser they are little round fellas with character and they they just make you smile when you see them just making sure that I'm sealed all the way around there we go now when you do this if you've done it right you will actually feel the air in the middle you'll feel it kind of moving it doesn't have to be perfect so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of just make him into a bit of a, a more of an oblong and rather than a round so he's, he's a bit like a spud at this point and I'm going to put the feet on Okay, so I'm just going to put him down here, sit there, and I'm going to make some feet. Now, the trick with it is to get them all the same size. I think I've mentioned in another video how I do this. So I'll roll a bit of clay out, okay, like so. And with my knife, now, so the clay, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's more or less the same thickness. So I'm going to cut a bit off about the size that I think. And then I'm going to cut another bit, offer it up so it measures the same and cut another bit. And that way you'll get 
a fairly uniform size foot now I'm just rolling it now into a, a Malteser sized ball okay here we go here's our three do you know I've only done three and got three feet what sort of a nutter does something like that I'm just gonna put him in a ball. poor thing been a bit of a wobbly maths was never my strong point right there we go so here he is and again we're joining clay so as we did before i'm just going to roughen up each foot and i'm going to roughen up where his feet are going to go and i'm going to add some slip again one foot two feet three feet and four feet okay and now here we go i'm just gonna put him on there fluff him up a bit okay there's the start of our cap he's got four little feet and he's just standing here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on some horns onto our cow just going to have a bit of a faff with his feet but there we go we're going to put some horns onto our cow so again we'll start off with a little piece of clay like that we're going to roll it into a ball like that and then we're going to roll it out on our board but i'm just putting pressure on one side and really gently little horn there and again with this one and again i've got the same size ball of clay more or less but any trouble any worries you can always trim them from the back they're not about they're not exactly right and it's quite difficult to get them exactly the same see mine is slightly longer so i'm just going to cut them off like that and he's a handmade piece he doesn't have to be absolutely perfect i'm just gonna um just dump the end of this now and smooth it off a bit okay and again here we go we're joining clay so roughen roughen slip i'm just going to offer these up now and see what they look like because you can't really tell until they're on and i'm going to go with this i think and you, you've just got a bit of a chance to kind of have a look and see where he is so there's his horns and we're going to give him a nose so again here we go with our ball of clay now we only need quite a small ball of clay for a nose so i'm rolling it again and then i'm just going to stick it down on the board a bit like that and with my knife or whatever you've got to hand that will make a suitable mark i'm just going to put the nostrils in and again i'm going to roughen that put a bit of slip on and pop it on his face in the general vicinity of a cow's nose so there he is the next thing here he is look hello i reliably informed that horns up is a girl and horns down is a boy and i think we're on horns up i'm just smoothing these horns slightly against the head which will give them a little bit more stickiness so the next thing we are going to do is i like to put a bit of a backbone down the middle which kind of goes into the tail now you don't have to do this you can just put a tail on if you want but i'm going to start it here i'm going to go down here i'm just measuring up at this point and the tail I'm going to put like that okay now if you put the tail sticking out once this dries before it fires or even if you're using air dry clay I'm roughening and sticking just now even if you're using air dry clay it becomes very brittle and your tail's likely to fall off which is why I think it's good to just have it attached to the body and then I just go like this ish with my slip and I'm just gonna roughen up a little bit where my slip's going and I'm gonna put a little bit of slip on here right here we go and don't worry about this because this sounds a bit odd but all will be revealed in a bit okay. I think that's a bit curly so I'm just gonna cut him off a bit there we are now I'm using a sharp tool here okay 
but you can use you know a fork or something like that and what I'm doing is I'm just blending this and I'm going to go all the way around it and all the way around the other side as if it's furry I'm going to make the fur go down like this and out each side and you just have to do all of this it's a, it's a fiddly job but you know just take your time if you can't do it all in one go just put him in a bag seal him up and you can come back to him he'll just stay like that or even a tupperware container or something and he'll just stay like that for ages until you can get back to him so you don't have to do this all in one go because it's quite a long make this and sometimes you know if you've got kids they want you or you might have to you might have to go out so so just have your bag at the ready right here's my i've done it now okay so there he is we're building this up as we go i'm just using this to score we used to use when we when we made these with our classes we used to use um like noodle makers um to make the hair but i developed this because i didn't think we were going to be able to use them anymore and i think i'm probably right it just it's just an added an added problem for the classes so, so here's our cow And I'm just going to do this until he's finished. Here I am, back again. So I have completely covered my cow with hair, as we were talking about before. The next thing to do is to give him a little fringe around the bottom, because obviously you can leave him like this. It looks perfectly all right, but you can put a little fringe around the bottom. And I'm just going to show you how to do that now. now. We don't have to roughen our cow because we've already roughened him. And what I've done is I've rolled out a piece of clay and I've just flattened it a little bit. And, and it doesn't matter if it's not... Can you see it's a bit kind of thin here and there? It doesn't matter. It'll be fine. I'm going to just put some slip on it and I'm going to put it around my cow, around the bottom. So if I start about there okay and um, i just kind of place it around just around the bottom just about where it curves okay and i've just nipped it off there and the next thing to do is to just smooth it on okay so here's the side of it and what i'm going to do is just smooth it on Okay, so I'm just smoothing it on like that, just with my finger, but you can use a tool if you want to. Okay, our clay kits, which are available in our shop, they've got air dry clay in them, but they come with tools, which are ideal for this, a tool for every occasion. So I'm just pinching this out at the bottom as well, just to make it a bit thinner. And then I'm just going to do the same to it as I did to the cow with my needle tool. And I'm just going to go right to the bottom. And don't worry if it cuts in at the bottom because we're just going to make it go a little bit. See, just keep going at the bottom and it makes it go a little bit straggly. And then just blend it in with the rest. So, you know, obviously cow's head doesn't always just go down. So we'll just roughen it up a bit. I'm just going really quickly. so They don't all get bored. Good glossy eyed. Fall asleep halfway through. And then... Once you've done this, it's your chance to just get your hair right. Just got a bit more to go. Once you've done your hair, every time you hold it, you flatten a bit of it out. This is a bit of a menace, but I'll show you something in a tick. I mean, perfect. If you've got a, a wheel that you can put it on and go around it, all well and good. But if you're just at home and you haven't got a lot of pottery kit, then what I've got is a jam jar and what I've done I'll put my trusty old bit of cut up t-shirt in like that and I'm just going to sit him in there so his feet go in the inside you see and then I'm just going to carry on and I can go all the way around the bottom like this there's his tail I'm just going to blend this in a little bit more into his fur you know you can spend 10 minutes or three hours on this it doesn't really matter it just depends how you want him to be so here he is so far this bit here I don't like because it just comes to an end of course if you were having a mohican on your cow you would make it a bit taller but what I'm going to do is I'm just got, I've just got a little bit of clay here that I'm going to stick on here. Here it is. I'm just going to roughen it a little bit and blob 
some slip on there and I'm just going to stick that on there just like this stick it down and then I'm going to do this and it'll give him a bit of a top knot a little bit of a and you can build this up around you know you can add little bits here and there if you want and can give him some under his chin or whatever you fancy doing and just kind of blend it all in with everything else Let's have a look oh look at that look how handsome he looks now oh. And you can give him a bit of a hairstyle you know so we want a couple of eyes as well and i just get a, a wee bit of clay like a see just a tiny tiny bit two bits like that obviously unless you're having a one-eyed cow and i just put a little bit of slip on and stick them in wherever i feel like it really i mean when we've run our classes we've had cows with hats on flowers bees butterfly you name it they've had them they've been decorated with them so here he is i've not is it it's horn before here he is now one thing i need to tell you as well is that if you're going to fire this cow he's going to have to have a hole in the bottom of him because you you've trapped air i'm just going to do this now i'm just going to give him a bit of, of a hairy bit around here and then i'm just literally going to go like that and make a hole where am i like that now if you're using air dry clay you don't need to do that and i would now leave him a little while to um to dry out a bit and then just tidy him up where you need to he's still quite movable and it's quite easy to knock the air out of him so you know just take it to leave him an hour or two and then come back to him and um yeah finish him off but there's your basic cow and here's one here's one i made earlier okay now he's glazed in under glaze and then he's clear glazed but and he's a brown one but as we know cows don't have to be brown do they it's up to you so we're going to leave him and i'll finish him off thanks very much that's our cow workshop finished if any of you have any questions please just get in touch with me and i'm quite happy to answer anything you can do that via the website or i think think you can do it via YouTube. Thanks. Take care. Bye.